If there's a more maddeningly inconsistent team than the Dallas Cowboys, it may be the San Diego Chargers. Look great, look bad, tremendous, can't hold on to the football. San Diego coming off the big win at home, traveling to Jacksonville. We putting two together for the Chargers? Uh, yeah, well, we're going to put two together for the Chargers <laughs> simply because it, it is Jacksonville. And they played, I think they played an exceptional game against the Denver Broncos. They got tired of hearing all that. They are professionals. But Phillip Rivers is playing at such a high level right now, controlling the offense from the line of scrimmage. I think he'll be able to do that, get his team into great plays. And Danny Woodhead, again, my, maybe my favorite player in the National oh, Football League. I love watching him I'm play. right there with you. I'm going with San Diego Chargers simply because they're playing Jacksonville. But Danny Woodhead is the guy. He, he's the guy that gets you out in situations versus. He matches up against linebacker safety. He's always winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, and he runs hard in between the tackles. He finally saw San Diego last week run the ball su yes. successfully. I think that's what happens this week. Also. Absolutely. San Diego, if Ken Winsenhunt, the offensive coordinator, continues to dial up the runs, they win this football game easily. If they go into the pass-happy attack that they've been known to do, then they lose this football game. I think they win. To that point, San Diego had four consecutive drives in the Monday night win of at least 10 plays. They had 147 yard rushing, and Ryan Matthews had a 100 yard game. That's what they were looking for, Ryan Matthews, when they made him that first round pick a few years ago.